passing through, passing through. Sometimes happy, sometimes blue, but glad that I ran into you. Tell the people that you saw me passing through. Born in Denver, Colorado on May 20th, 1929, Billy Robinson was adopted by Wallace and Ethel Conley, who raised him in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, as Walter Bill Conley. After his adoptive father died in 1944, Walt and his mother moved back to Denver where he graduated from Manual High School in 1949. He went on to college on a football scholarship and spent his summers working on a ranch in northern New Mexico where he met Jenny Vincent, a local folk singer and activist who performed with the likes of Pete Seeger and Woody Guthrie. Walt got to meet Pete Seeger and other members of the Weavers, and it was Seeger who helped Connolly get his first guitar and adapt his deep baritone voice to interpreting folk songs of the day. Connolly then went on to serve in the Navy during the Korean War, and while stationed in New York City, he made it a point to go out and see and meet folk artists like Cisco Houston, Josh White, and Woody Guthrie. After his stint in the Navy, Walt Conley went back to college at what would become the University of Northern Colorado, graduating with a degree in physical education and drama. His professional music career began in Denver as a Harry Belafonte-style calypso singer in the three bars at the Windsor Hotel. By 1958, Conley was appearing at various clubs and Colorado venues, including the Red Ram in Georgetown, and in Denver at the Little Bohemia, where he met and later worked with Judy Collins. In 1959, the venue The Exodus opened in the Ray Lane Hotel in downtown Denver with premier folk acts of the day performing. That year, The Exodus also hosted the Folk Festival at The Exodus, Denver's first ever folk music festival. Conley soon began booking acts at the Satire Lounge where he booked the Smothers Brothers for their first Denver appearance and gave Bob Dylan a place to stay at his house near the club. According to Conley, Dylan was thoroughly disappointed in me. Because I was black, he expected me to be a young Bill Boonsy or a young Leadbelly. Instead, he encountered a singing actor who knew his stage and commercial worth. Conley's first album, Passing Through, came out in 1961 on Premier Records, a small Denver label. It featured ballads, blues, and traditional folk standards, including the title track, Passing Through, which became Conley's ode to his life on the road. In 1963, Walt's second album, Listen What He's Saying, was released on Studio City Records. Between 1966 and 1970, Conley played the Ice House in Pasadena, California, with various folk acts and even a young comedian by the name of Steve Martin. During those years, he played clubs from California all the way to the bitter end in New York City and various colleges across the Midwest. Conley's love of music and acting shifted towards drama as the folk revival of the 1960s ended. In Hollywood, he found work on television series like The Rockford Files and The Six Million Dollar Man he appeared in movies like Prison for Children with John Ritter and Flashback with Dennis Hopper and Kiefer Sutherland. Moving back to his home state of Colorado, Walt opened the venue Conley's Nostalgia on South Broadway saying, everyone in Denver is serving food, but no one else is serving folk music. Conley closed the venue in 1987 and released his third and final album under the name Walt Conley and Company titled After All These Years. Throughout his life, Conley was a champion for various causes, and in 1995, Walt celebrated 35 years as an actor and musician by holding a fundraiser at the Mercury Cafe for the Rocky Mountain Music Association, now the Colorado Music Business Association, a nonprofit group that promoted original music, from that and other connections, Conley reinvented himself one more time by creating a music group dedicated to traditional Irish music. 
Walt Connolly died on November 16, 2003. He was 74 years old. But his legend lived on with the annual Walt Fest at the Shea Bean Irish Pub that raised money for the American Diabetes Association until 2017. There are very few musicians, actors, and venue owners in the world. And we were blessed to have one of those rare combinations of talent and skills here in Colorado. The Colorado Music Hall of Fame, presented by Comfort Dental, is proud to induct Walt Conley as part of the old folk, new folk class of 2019. If that wheeler hits it right, I'll be in tomorrow night, cause I'm dying.